Hey, hi guys, welcome to the Quant Lab. In this video, we will talk about one of the most requested conversations. We will get into understanding how to get real time market data when you work with trading systems or when you're trying to design algo trading software. We will talk about the core concepts and we'll also look at some provider APIs like Than and Zerodha. Both of these are specific to India, but uh, you know, the concepts are really translatable and uh, we'll look at all of them in detail. Let's get started. Before I do that, uh, in case you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I make tech videos around trading and financial engineering, talk a lot about AI, machine learning, techniques that can help you boost your understanding of financial engineering, be more aware about the role that technology plays in finance. Let's get started. So what I have on my screen is a very simple diagram. So let's get the concepts first and then we'll talk about the provider APIs. Let's look at the concepts first. So there are three concepts primarily that we usually uh, hear about or work with. One or first is using APIs. The second can be using Python clients and the third is using WebSockets. Both of these three provide uh, almost similar functionalities except WebSockets makes it more real time. But let's first try and understand key what are APIs. So APIs are, think of them as a way of communication, as a way of interaction. So when we are working with technology or when we are working with systems, brokers in this case, they have servers and they own the data. They are getting the live data, you execute your trades over there, etc, etc. And you want to programmatically tell them that do these do this operation or give me this data stuff like that. And in order to do that, APIs help you. So that's basically what API is. It stands for application programming interface, but that's just a mouthful. Let's think of it as a friend who helps you communicate with whomsoever you want to in case you don't want to do the communication yourself. What you do is you say to a client, you make a request to the server from a client and client is your software, your browser, your machine, anything. And you hit an URL with some access setup and you say, hey, give me this request or give me this data in this format and they will reply to you with that. The part where you made a request is called request and where you got the response is called response. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing more fancy than understanding of APIs than this. Yes, when you get to use them, you need to understand what's the, how the data format looks like, which is JSON, how to secure it, which is probably using tokens and stuff like that. But let's move on to the second method, which is using Python clients. Now, what I'll do is I'll show you examples of both of the providers and uh, we'll, we'll use them as a way to learn it. So there's two providers that I'm going to talk about, as I've said a couple of times, not a paid video at all. I'm not sponsored at all. This is just these are the two ones that I use. So I'm talking about it. So the first is Than HQ and uh, this is the Python client for communicating behind the scenes. They also use the API. Now what happens here is you can do certain types of operations using these methods. First is order management, portfolio management, getting historical data, getting some fund limits and doing disauthorization, which could be for sell transactions. All you need to do is do a pip install than HQ. It will install you the client. We will talk about the first thing you need to do is set up an object, set the client ID and access token. And we'll talk about how to get that shortly. And then after that, it's well documented. You just have an example of pretty much doing all kinds of operation and you should be able to figure this out. Like you can get the trade history, you can get historical minute chart from here, you can get intraday daily charts and stuff like that. So that's on Than HQ. Similarly, you have PyKite Connect, which is from Zerodha. And this is a much more exhaustive library, I'll say. Support some much larger types of operation because they have been in the market for a very long time. Same stuff. You do a pip install Kite Connect. You have to get the API key from them and excuse me, should be able to get your API key easily. And once you do that, you will be able to see through and read through the documentation across uh, in a very simple way. Now like, that's the second method of using. Now let's move on to the third method. So we talked about APIs, which are request response based. We talked about Python, which is more easy. I would say you have other programming languages as well for uh, at least for Zerodha, I'm sure of that. The third method is more like a WebSocket. So 
the difference we need to understand when to use it and that will help us understand the difference so when we want to get data in real time right when we have time dependent strategies when we are working in high frequency trades we would want the data to stream to us we'll want the data to be live we don't want a minute latency we'll probably want to get the order book we'll want to get notifications and stuff like that so in that scenario websocket is a much better form of communication it's actually recommended for trading setups but it's you know not all providers will provide you a websocket connection so what the difference lies in the fact that one of them is request response based which is apis and websocket is more like a live connection so as this image is showing and thanks to guys at waller to put this image so a websocket connection makes a request there's a handshake which is security and then the communication is bi-directional so you keep getting the data in live feed while https or apis as we talked it's more of once you make a request and you get a response the connection is terminated so those are the three different ways api python clients and websockets now let's go on to exploring the apis or exploring the type of operations and understanding these setups and how to get access to them etc in much more detail so with python or with with zeroda you have a website called kite connect and you should be able to just go here log in and uh, request for your keys also you can go to docs which is very extensive you will be able to see all sorts of details about different libraries python go java php node uh, rest uh, all all of those you will be also able to see the response structures that the api generally provides and you can see that you also have a good explanation and setup of how websocket works and how the streaming part of it works so you can very well understand how it is operating and uh, you get the whole message structure and the data etc you'll need to probably break the data and do some bit of parsing but that's required and then you can work with obviously historical candle data and they provide you different frequencies like minute day three minute five minute ten minutes so different varying frequencies is what they they support you can do even mutual funds on apis this is a very mature library next up uh, let's go to dhan and uh, this is free so i would probably suggest to get started with this i think zero dai is paid or i could be wrong i checked it few i think months back so you could you just need to click individuals and geeks and uh, you can fill up this form for them to contact you or probably you'll get an automated mail or something like that but when you click on api docs this is the part which is important to read and i'll probably zoom in if you are an individual trader you just need to go to the website which is and uh, you can just get a free access to the trading apis so you'll be able to get token and a client id you can set up and using that you'll be able to work programmatically which is very easy and straightforward to set up in the next video or the one after that i'll probably put a detailed explanation of how to do all of this in live and using real money and stuff like that so uh very simple you can do a pip install dhan hq and you can work with it as i talked a couple of minutes back so i'll not go into details here this supports slightly lesser type of operations compared to zeroda you have orders portfolio eds funds etc similar but they have a more exhaustive list and uh, what you can also do is you can get on to the apis itself which is probably somewhere i know it used to be somewhere here just go to api.dhan.co and it will give you the open api spec for the entire api structures that they support all the endpoints so you have order endpoint here you can do charts so let's probably just take a look at how the chart one looks so when you make a post call and uh, you know in apis there's couple of methods that are supported methods are think of them as type of operations get post update delete probably just spend a little 15 minute online or youtube in trying to learn about it postman is a great tool you should be able to you know gain a good understanding of postman and api methods in about 10 15 to 20 minutes using good videos in the next video i will obviously talk about in much more detail but in case you want to get started before that please do here's the end point here's the url which will be hit so just let's take a look here let's probably zoom in so you have url header uh, which is the path then you have certain headers uh, which talks about what type of data it is application slash json which means we're working with json data type and you have the access token 
then you have some security id and then you talk about exchange segment and instrument and exchange segment is just the certain preset options which means do you want to deal with cash fno currency bsc mc etc etc and allowed values for index are index equity stuff like that which on which you are essentially querying and then you get a response which is ohlcv and start time similarly you can go to a one day candle and the data i believe will just change you'll have to add some more parameters like from date and to date and you'll you know get the data you have uh, more options here like you can do orders you can check about uh, details get current order list and orders will have all the parameters that are supported by order you can do some portfolio conversions getting current positions holdings etc in case you are running a strategy where you are playing with positions in real time and stuff like that what else do we have you have all trade stuff like you can get your trade history and stuff like that you can check your ledger report and you can also get the fund limit detail i think it definitely supports lesser number of operations compared to zerotha but i believe this is enough my goal is to be able to get data in real time uh, and honestly one minute candle is absolutely fine with me i wish if they supported more time filters but i think one minute is good enough for me i can work with that and uh, you can run your strategies and you can probably do some executions using that definitely it will require some playing around so try and learn postman a bit of python which i have talked about a lot in my previous videos and uh, once you're comfortable with reading the data try to code the strategies and then you should be able to towards more closer to the journey of automating your trades all right that was the video thank you for sticking for so long if you have listened to the end bye bye